Remove our motherboard from the anti-static bag. Today we will demonstrate common NAS motherboard troubleshooting methods. First we plug in the memory stick. Now, we connect the ATX power supply to the motherboard. Please make sure that the 4-pin ATX processor power interface is also connected. If you have a monitor, you can plug it in to make sure it gets into the system correctly. Now, let's turn on the power switch. Now we can see that the startup fails. The fan is not spinning. It is possible that the auto start function has failed. We can try to boot through panel. Okay, that failed, we need to check other issues. We need to disconnect the power, then remove the button battery on the motherboard. Use metal tools to discharge static electricity from the battery box. After about 15 seconds, reinstall the battery. Recheck the memory for correct contact. For the first startup, in order to ensure compatibility, we recommend using less than 16 GB of memory, and only connecting a single route for testing, to avoid failure to start due to memory incompatibility. After doing this, when we reconnect the power supply, we can see that the motherboard starts up. When the motherboard is started for the first time, it will perform a compatibility check on the hardware, and require a long startup time. This is normal. After waiting patiently, we can see that the motherboard starts successfully. We can enter the BIOS through the DEL key, 